As a nation with rapid economic growth and an expanding middle class, China is not only the largest aviation market in the world, but also one of the fastest growing. For many years, Boeing and Airbus have reaped massive profits from this lucrative market. However, the landscape is changing rapidly. China no longer wants to be just a buyer, it wants to be a player. With grand ambitions, the country has entered the race to manufacture its own commercial aircraft, aiming to compete directly with the two Western giants. So why do these made-in-China planes challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus? How will China reshape the global aviation landscape? Let's find out. But first, why did China want to create its own aircraft? China has a huge domestic aviation market and is making strong, strong efforts to penetrate the commercial aircraft manufacturing sector. This is a key part of its long-term strategy to reduce dependence on foreign manufacturers and assert the country's position on the global aviation map. One prominent name in this effort is COMAC, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, a state-backed aircraft manufacturer established to challenge the dominance of Airbus and Boeing. COMAC's narrowbody C919 aircraft is a prime example of this ambition. Designed to directly compete with popular aircraft like the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, the C919 aims not only to offer a more affordable option, but also to carry significant symbolic meaning. It is a domestic product developed by China itself. This is seen as a strategic move to strengthen China's technological and manufacturing capabilities in the aviation sector, an industry long dominated by Western countries. But this China manufacturer's ambitions don't stop with narrow-body aircraft. The company is also focusing on developing the wide-body C-929, designed for long-haul flights and with a capacity of 250 to 320 passengers. This represents a major leap in China's aircraft manufacturing capabilities, as the C929 will directly compete with modern aircraft like the Airbus A330 and Boeing 787. If successful, this project will not only enhance China's influence in the global aviation industry, but also open up opportunities to export its products to international markets, but do you know how China is a potential market for the aviation industry? The domestic aviation market in China currently accounts for 91% of the country's total air traffic, while international flights make up only 9%. This stark contrast highlights that the majority of China's aviation demand is concentrated within its domestic market. Over the next two decades, the demand for wide-body aircraft in China is projected to range from 1,575 to 1,815 units, a staggering number for any aircraft manufacturer. This growth, driven by China's expanding middle class and increasing travel demand, presents both a significant opportunity and a challenge for the aviation industry. However, this impressive growth in the domestic aviation sector also brings about several substantial challenges for major manufacturers like Airbus and Boeing. For Boeing, these challenges are particularly pressing as the company continues to grapple with the lingering issues surrounding its 737 MAX aircraft, along with production delays. The MAX has faced a series of technical and safety issues, leading to groundings and a slower than expected recovery. These setbacks have not only affected Boeing's global operations, but have also impacted its ability to fulfill orders from the Chinese market. The delay in delivering aircraft further complicates Boeing's position in a market as crucial as China, where demand is rapidly growing. Meanwhile, COMAC, China's state-backed aircraft manufacturer, faces its own set of challenges. While the company is eager to become a competitive player in the aviation industry, it is still struggling with supply chain issues and heavy reliance on Western components for its aircraft. Many critical parts, including avionics, engines, and other key systems, are sourced from foreign suppliers, particularly from the US and Europe. This reliance on external suppliers limits COMAC's ability to scale up production quickly and independently, making it difficult for the company to meet the surging demand in China's rapidly growing domestic market. Despite these hurdles, China is determined to turn its aviation ambitions into a reality. The Chinese government views the development of a domestic aircraft manufacturing capability as crucial not only for economic and technological advancement, but also for strategic autonomy in the aviation sector. While China may not yet be in a position to compete directly with global giants like Airbus and Boeing on the international stage, the company is slowly but steadily solidifying its presence in the domestic market. The C919 is seen as a key player in China's plan to reduce its reliance on foreign-made aircraft. However, the production of the C919 has been slower than anticipated 
due to the technical challenges involved in developing a new aircraft and the need to ensure quality standards that meet international certification. With the Chinese government heavily backing its aviation ambitions, do you believe China can achieve strategic autonomy in the sector? Remarkably, the challenges are not only present with the C919, but are also likely to persist with the new aircraft model, the C929, of this manufacturer. From the outset, this program has faced significant challenges. This project began in 2011 as a joint venture between Russia's United Aircraft Corporation and COMAC. But then, this partnership encountered difficulties after sanctions were imposed on Russia due to the conflict in Ukraine in 2022. By 2023, COMAC decided to continue development independently, and the aircraft was renamed the C-929. To compete in the global aviation market, this aircraft needs powerful engines with thrust ranging from 77,000 to 88,000 pounds. The Chinese manufacturer has the potential to collaborate with major engine manufacturers like Rolls-Royce and General Electric, but the company is also working on developing its own domestic engine, the CJ2000. However, the development of this engine faces numerous challenges, and it is unlikely to receive certification before 2030. The task of developing a reliable and efficient engine is crucial for the success of the C929, and the delays in this area further complicate the program's progress. Additionally, the certification process in the United States and Europe presents another major obstacle. If China wants to sell the aircraft internationally, particularly to markets in the US and Europe, it will have to navigate the complex and rigorous certification processes in these regions. Given the political tensions between China and Western countries, particularly the US, this will likely prove to be an arduous task. However, the challenges do not end there. First and foremost, China still relies heavily on foreign aircraft. The country's three largest airlines, Air China, China Southern, and China Eastern currently have over 300 orders for the COMAX C919. However, for comparison, Air China alone operates 310 Airbus A320 and Boeing 737 aircraft, along with 75 other narrow-body planes awaiting delivery. China Southern operates approximately 520 narrow-body aircraft and has an additional 193 on order. Meanwhile, China Eastern owns 515 Boeing 737 and Airbus A320s, with another 210 planes pending delivery. This shows that, before being capable of competing in other markets, Chinese aircraft must first meet domestic demand. COMAX C919 still has a long way to go before it can replace these foreign-made aircraft. If Shanghai can increase production, so the Chinese government may encourage orders for domestic planes, not only within the country, but also in regions where China holds political influence. Secondly, COMAC continues to face another significant challenge, its reliance on critical components from foreign suppliers, primarily from the uh, top three, United States and Europe. Key parts such as landing gear, avionics, weather radar systems, hydraulic equipment, and CFM Leap 1C engines are still imported. This dependency subjects Shanghai to challenges similar to those experienced by Boeing and Airbus, especially in the current environment of global supply chain disruptions. Furthermore, some foreign suppliers remain hesitant to provide advanced products to China due to concerns over potential technology replication, further complicating this manufacturer's efforts to become self-sufficient. Does China continue to rely on foreign components for its larger aircraft model, the C929, while gradually transitioning to domestic production? International politics, particularly new trade policies from the United States, could make this transition significantly more challenging. Potential restrictions on advanced technology exports to China may delay or even derail China's ambitions to localize production for the C929. Thirdly, geopolitical tensions between China and Taiwan are also damaging the aviation industry. Recent military drills conducted by China around Taiwan have caused significant disruptions, including restricted airspace and commercial flight delays. These disruptions have reduced international travel demand to China and may also negatively impact the development plans for the wide-body C929. Limited access to critical air routes and heightened regional instability could deter airlines from investing in new aircraft designed for long-haul international routes, thereby undermining the commercial viability of this project. Reports have emerged that China is developing a new type of aircraft engine capable of reaching supersonic and even hypersonic speeds. However, the challenges of operating at these speeds are immense, 
with issues such as friction, heat management, and material durability requiring cutting-edge solutions. While skepticism surrounds the feasibility of these engines, the ambition underscores China's determination to lead in aviation innovation. In addition, China is continuing to expand its aviation sector at an extraordinary pace. Between 2015 and 2025, China plans to construct 136 new airports and upgrade numerous existing ones, creating a robust infrastructure network to support its rapidly growing aviation market. By 2027, passenger volume is expected to reach 930 million, with even greater growth potential as the average Chinese citizen still flies significantly less than their counterparts in the United States and Europe. Beyond infrastructure development, China is also making significant strides in aviation technology innovation. A notable example is the Beidou Satellite Navigation System, which is reported to be more accurate than GPS in certain regions. This technology is expected to play a crucial role in improving flight navigation, enhancing safety, and reducing operational inefficiencies across China's airspace. The broader trends in China's aviation sector also highlight impressive growth. From 2019 to 2023, China's narrow-body and wide-body aircraft fleets expanded by 18% and 26%, respectively. This rapid growth reflects not only increasing domestic demand, but also China's push to modernize and expand its aviation capabilities. China is positioning itself as an emerging aviation superpower, a development closely watched by Airbus, Boeing, and the global aviation community. The scale of its ambitions, coupled with significant investments in infrastructure, technology, and innovation, signals a shift in the balance of power within the global aviation industry. While there is admiration for China's progress, there is also a measure of unease among established players, as the country continues to challenge the long-standing dominance of Western manufacturers and infrastructure developers. In the years ahead, China's trajectory in aviation will undoubtedly reshape the global landscape, with far-reaching implications for technology, economics, and geopolitics in the skies. How long do you think China take the time to be in the same position as Boeing and Airbus? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.